Hi guys! Hello everybody! Welcome to Original Games UK. Um, it is Sunday the 13th it is. of August, which meant yesterday was... Yeah, again, the Doncaster video game market. Biggest one in the UK. Yeah. Um, I definitely had some impulse buys. Yeah, I was much, 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 much more restrained. <laughs> <laughs> you just made it away from me. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Look at that. I mean, we should say Ains left me some money. <laughs> that's, how, that's how bad it got. But the worst thing was, I wasn't even like, Aiden, I don't really think I should lend it to you. I went, yeah, yeah. And I, and I literally just I was like, yeah, yeah, spend it. Do it. <laughs> they, true, what they, what they call her, me is an, an enabler. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so it's definitely an enabler. Yeah. Definitely. Um, right. So I mean, if you'd seen, I did, <coughs> I did do a video of games that mm. I wanted to pick up. Now I got a few of them, literally a few. I think, yeah, because okay, well, I mean, some of them were well over, like well over the like budget. Yes, um, um, some of them just weren't there. Yeah, I, I never expected to see like Stranding Kids, the game would call it for yeah. example. Uh, by, uh, Biting Kytos wasn't there. That wasn't there, no. Now the personas were, but they were just they were just yeah. a lot. They Persona were a lot of money. Q wasn't there. No, I didn't see that for the no. Um, yes, so, yeah. Yeah. so we'll just we'll just get on to things. Um, Let's start off with the imp the most the most impulse one, I think. Or, sh or shall we? Or shall we give him a story? Give me Let's give him a story. Give right. Me, give me the story. Right. Let me drop some stories on door right now. Okay. Okay. So when we went to the video game market in March, I believe, last uh, year. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> one of our favourite stores was a place that was selling mainly Master System games. Yeah. And we in our video talked about how what good the prices were, you know, the range, it was, the range, it was amount that yeah. had, had a lot. And they were there again this year. Mm, they were there, yeah. yeah. Um, so I went and bought That's three one. ones, and I think it was three, three games. Three games for you. Three games for you. Oh, well, I completely forgot about that game. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The game I had not actually heard of, but you had heard of. I'd heard of Hardline, but not Super Hardline. Yeah, yeah. Super Hardline for the Mega Drive. Now, this is in, this is in really, really good condition. Okay, so it looks very nice. I do, now the artwork actually that is kind of ridiculous, yeah. really. And very good. Pristine good. manual yeah. and cartridge. Nice. Can't complain. What, what that, was, was that about nine or something? That was more. I think that was fifteen. Okay. But so I, that, I kind of tried to do a deal on this. Yeah. Now M NBA Jam, it's in all right condition. It's. Um, I think for its age, it's fine. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. 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 Not too bad. You know the. Think top store like that. Which actually is the most surprising thing because I don't I don't know about you I don't know about people but I used to cut mine off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, um, manual's there but not great condition. Yeah, it's, right. again it's it's not yet. It's fine. Okay, I, I I would call that a, a six or a seven I guess. No, Pac Mania, one of literally the final Master System game that I want, and it just, just need two more to complete my Master System game from before. Yeah, yeah. Pac Mania to, to rebuild the collection yeah. and Deep Look Trouble. Now they had to, they actually saw it twice. Then. Deep Look Trouble twice, both of them. Think, manual. Yeah, both of them. I think actually it was expensive. What expensive for what kind of now, people were looking for? Wasn't it like maybe like twenty five? Well, maybe I'm reading this wrong. Maybe I can't read. But I'm sure in here, the Pac Mania. Just double check for me, guys. I'm sure it says manual included. I mean, we should go maybe. <laughs> 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 Yeah, no. That, now, now, if that was if that was the case, okay. So no manual, obviously from that from that story. Yeah. Okay. Now, if it was just that, could I forgive him? Yes. But so all these together, I think came to thirty-two pounds. So I said I'd do them all for twenty-five. Yes. And he was like mm, twenty-nine. I was like twenty-five. Yeah. I said yeah. I gave him forty. He gives me ten pound, uh, eleven pound change. Yeah. I was like, I gave you forty. And then he goes, oh yeah, sorry. And in his other hand, he had the remaining four, yeah, four so pounds to give me. I was like, yeah. you robbing bastard. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the set of the day off well. Um, so to the, those but trust me, that, that, that didn't stop him. <laughs> no, no. That didn't stop me, but that stopped me from shopping there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I, I said, Simon, let's leave. I mean, it's, it, wasn't, it wasn't cool. It, just, it wasn't cool. I'd say, because, like, not having the manual, I say, with the amount of stock they can have, I can kind of see it. it's it's bad though because you think if I paid, okay, if this deep duck trouble, and yeah. I paid like thirty or whatever they want. Because I think it. I think with that, I think it was twenty five, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. So, so it's a fairly absolutely quite. Right so really. imagine if I bought like a more expensive game, it didn't have the manual. Then, so in that sense, it is pretty bad. Yeah. But it is. the fact that he had the change in his hand ready to give me, he only gave me the other side of it. Like, yeah. oh, fuck you. Um, <laughs> I think now, <laughs> now. <laughs> No, no. Let's go on to the on the impulse one, which we which we got. Because how, how many impulse? There's a lot of impulse. On ones. the left, on top. 
Yes. <laughs> 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 yeah. So um, all the dolls I can't remember. Uh, it, I, mean, I think I think it would have been like part, not a known company. It was just yeah. it looked like people who were just going, you know, going for the day to sell some stuff. Sega Mega Drive game. I saw it and I was still ahead. I just thought oh, I'm sure it's a really really rare game. Like, yeah. I'm sure it's very rare and it didn't have a price tag on it. So I was like, it probably is really rare. Yeah. But it was wasn't actually like um, on display. It was within all the other games. Yeah. So I was like, oh, okay. I'll just and also. Show. The only copy we'd seen all day, actually. Yeah. Now, now thinking yeah, back, yeah, actually, no, yeah, didn't yeah. see it anywhere else. Um, so anyway, I was like, oh, and I, I said, how, how much is it? And the guy was like, hmm. Anyway, he goes on his phone. He's like looking through for like five, five minutes. Like he mm. doesn't even price. Kind of worried, perhaps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, he goes fifteen, and it's in really good condition. I was like, yes. Yeah. Didn't even haggle because I thought it was really rare game. Now, it's an uncommon game. It's not as rare as well. Well, on Retro Collect, it says it's it, uncommon. It, it's yeah. uncommon. Yeah. yeah. And that is Wiz and Liz for the Mega Drive. But one thing we did find out is I think a lot of people consider this to be a really good game. And as he described it when he said 15, he said because it's clean. It is clean. It does. It does. Look like, that clean, is yeah. really, really good condition. That's who is the company who, who uh, made it? Can't even read that. I've never. So I think it's Psychosis. I've never heard oh, of that company. Okay. That's I thought about that. So, yeah, really good condition. So even though um, it's not like rare. Actually, I think the price I paid for it and we know it's a good game. Yeah, cool. yeah. I think, and I, I, and I do think that was probably the most. I think everything from this point forward makes sense as, as to as to why it was bought. That was so. That was the one which was kind of just yeah, let's just fucking get it. Yeah, boy. Um, and, and believe, and believe me, there's more of those. Yeah. Um, shall we go on to some books? You think? Shall we get the books out of the way? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So um, we saw Tutti. Um, mm. uh, Tutti, really? kind, of, kind of enough, last year gave us uh, gave us a game, and if you don't know, he has like a. Range of different video game uh, things on his channel. Yeah, I might even also. Be... I mean, his store was one of the best because there was so much uh, range yeah. of stuff. I mean, you also saw something on, on the floor which we yes. uh, got, uh, got as well, and also a game as well. Yes, yeah. So he did actually have. So yeah. he has a great, a, a great range of you got, stuff. You got me too. I kind of I went over and I was like, "Do you have um, Sonic and Knuckles?" And he like explained that he didn't. So everything I bought there was an impulse buy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, b b before the box, yeah, yeah. let's just get this one out of the way because this one. But it's really just because of, of the name on it. Yeah. Then yeah. Enough, just because it? it's a Dragon Quest game. Yeah. It's like an on rails thing, hack and slash Dragon Quest swords. Um, but it, it's a uh, Dragon Quest. So it's, it's a Dragon Quest. Complete in box. Why would you know? Yeah. Really it good. doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's the worst Dragon Quest. No, yeah. It's still a Dragon. Re Quest. Really, really good point. condition. So. Yeah. I mean, can I just say the people at Square? Can can you stop put, can, can you stop putting the longest subtitles yes. on your Dragon Quest games? Dragon Quest swords. The Mask Queen and the Tower of Mirrors. It's too long. Now, <laughs> it's lo not catchy. Loads of people actually were really, really into this. Some, I saw yeah. there, like a lot of them. I think, uh, yeah, I think I'm right. I think I do like bought ten, and I think two to give them like for the price yeah. of nine or something. Or I, so, I, I know, I know, we did them, like, a, a great deal. I'm trying to think was another store that did it, but anyway, we got definitely got this from two E, and that yeah. is a nice like um, front for a. Uh, I can't think of the word. <laughs> a shell. 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 Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so the English language. When, left, when, or if I ever get more room in here, yeah, this can kind of be put up somewhere. Yeah. yeah. So, because my Mega Drive is one of my most nostalgic consoles. Yeah. It's like the first uh, console I remember playing. Do so. you know where this would be sick as well? Is if you ever made an arcade cabinet, it'd be cool. Maybe yeah. just underneath where the uh, arcade sticks are, perhaps. Or, so, or at the top. So they had them for loads and loads of different consoles and for Super Nintendo. Yeah, yeah PlayStation, PlayStation and stuff. Yeah. Um, but but decided to go for a classic main drive. Now, two other things to went for. <laughs> this was this this was <laughs> this was the one that uh, that uh, I spotted. Yeah. Yeah, and that is the Tales of Symphony Symphony Guy. Now, it was quite expensive, um, but, but, it's, but then again the game is what? Fifteen years yeah. old now? <laughs> and it's one of my favourite games, yeah. but also the reason why I was like I didn't mind paying it is because normally some of this are, is in Japanese. Yeah, you know, this is this is a, an English guide for Tales of Symphonia. I mean, I mean, if you think if you want a guide for like Final Fantasy XV now, yeah. it's about twenty. Yeah, this game was. I mean, it was popular, but it wasn't hella popular. It was for the for the GameCube, but no one really bought it, yeah. and that means no one bought the guides. So to, I think just to find a guide, and then the uh, is really impressive, and the condition of it as well, is actually really really yeah. good. Yeah. So, um, but then also we saw this last year. Oh, did we? We saw this last year. I'm oblivious. Yes. <laughs> and the person wanted twenty five for it. Wow. They wanted twenty five for it. Yeah. Um, so two had this, and actually I got it for a fiver. 
for a fiver. And if you actually watched our recent game pickups, I actually got the standard version you of did. this. You did, yeah. And that is the collector's edition guide for Final Fantasy XIII. So hardback, yeah, pretty bulky. I mean, it just it just looks really nice. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I mean, I'm sure on the inside it's going to be kind of the same, the same but, but just you know, just for a collector's piece, it is it is really, really yeah. nice. And I do like my Final Fantasy XIII stuff, so. Well, yeah, I mean, it, well, at, well, at this point, there's no more guides. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's no more guides. To yeah, get. no, no, yeah. literally have pretty much everything Final Fantasy thirteen wise. Yeah, um, but could not find, could not find Final Fantasy thirteen two on PS three. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, Aiden's got this thing at the minute for playing it on the PS three rather than the uh, three sixty. <laughs> yes. um, yeah. But it's really odd how. Could, could I mean, obviously, it's 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 a retro gaming event, so obviously we didn't expect to find loads of PS three games, yeah. even though obviously a few stores had a few and so and so on. Mm. But finding. 13.2 on PS3. I mean, I'm guessing nobody bought That's it. Because I think we saw one Lightning Returns on PS3. And we saw the Collector's Edition, limited edition version, but that was the 360. Yeah, so I mean, boy howdy, no one, like, yeah. no, no one bought that game on PS3. Now, um, back in the last gaming uh, event, we got Sonic Mega Collection for the GameCube. We did. Which so, yes. Yeah, can, can I get it? I can't get my, my, my poor neck. I'm gonna break my neck trying to uh, turn around. So, that's it. Yeah, so, they're pretty similar. Sonic Mega Collection on the GameCube has pretty much like all the games. That's the one we got before. But and then, I think yeah, the uh, PS2 one just has the Sonic Sega Mega Collection Plus. Has the Sega Game, CD, Sega Game, Game Gear games. games. Sonic Hedgehog, Sonic Chaos, Sonic Drift, Sonic Labyrinth, Dr. Rotten Butler's Music Machine, and Sonic Blast. And the games that are on the GameCube yeah. one as well. I think that was five pounds. Five pounds. Five pounds. Yeah. yeah. So, just a really. I mean, yeah. It's not rare. Actually, no. wait a second. I think I only saw a few copies. What was the game that we Sonic Gems Collection? Yeah, we saw that once, and then someone bought that. Yeah, and then we just didn't see it again. I can't. Remember. It's because the box was a bit faded to me. So I was yeah. kind of like, oh, I don't. Really yeah, know. and the thing is, I'm a big Sonic fan for nostalgia. Yeah, yeah. But I do not play any of the modern Sonic. No, games. no, no. And obviously, and this one wasn't. This one was another collection. Yes. But I'd never heard. No. Of of that one. Right. Shall we? Shall we show a few of the ones that? Go for it. Right. <coughs> so, so obviously, as we were walking around, I thought I'd get some Pokemon cards. They didn't really have the ones I wanted, so then I kind of changed my mind and thought, what should I get instead? And then I thought I should get some PSP games because a lot of the ones that I had. Um, inevitably broke because I played them too much yeah. and because the cartridges are very kind of, kind of brittle. I've been making. So I literally, like nothing rare, it's just stuff that I absolutely just loved playing. So Tekken Dark Resurrection, spent too much time on it. Yeah, that, that's my favourite game in that series. Yeah, absolutely love it. Um, so yeah, so that'll get played, probably more than Tekken 7. Yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, no, that, yeah. Like, yeah. Genuinely true. Right, I'll, show, I'll show one more and then we can get back to some veins. And then Dissidia, Final Fantasy. Um, I say they'll be they'll be kind of like a running theme through, through, through the yes. rest of mine after this. But yeah, so Dissidia, Final Fantasy. Um, yeah, manual, and I think also has yeah the weird square like um, all the stuff. Yeah, that leaflet thing you can send back. But yeah, so Dissidia, if I'm right, yeah, has a clear cartridge, which actually is kind of fed it. Also has a reversible. Oh, let's see. Inside, I, I didn't need that. <laughs> I didn't want that. <laughs> That's why PSP. Yes, yeah, so it's break. <laughs> it's break. So yeah, so I'm looking at, and then I got a, a few more PSP, which we will get onto after yes. this. Some more. Okay, let's go on to um, two yeah, games. Yeah, two, three. I've got three ga three games here that I was looking for. Mm. One of them being Resident Evil on the GameCube. Now yes. we saw lots and lots of copies. But they were varying in quality and price, so I think the highest result for it was 18. And the you rest... know, I actually had that game. What did you? I actually had that game. Yeah. And it pissed me off. <laughs> 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 so, what, yeah. so what, I would have been, I think, what, 14? I think, I think we, what, we were 14 when the GameCube uh, came out? Something like that. Something like that. Double that. And I had Double Dash. Yeah. Star Fox Adventure. No, I think I had that later, and that came out fairly late in the GameCube's life, our life cycle. And I think I had Resident Evil. I was Double Dash. Great, a, a great game. Play, play it to, I played it to death. And I was like, I played some Resident Evil. Couldn't even get past the first zombie in that corridor. 
who you have the cinematic and he stands up. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's what Resident Evil will do. It. That's what Resident Evil will do. I mean, it was definitely the fixed camera angle, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, but what a ridiculous game. Yeah, so, so good. Yeah. I believe I got it for seven, seven or eight pounds. Yeah. Um, Resident Evil three though, and two, two for the GameCube. They were. Yeah, they seem to keep going up. Yeah. Okay. One I'm very happy to have. Finally, yeah. um, I have to have this one I've been looking for for a, for a long time. Sonic Three. Sonic Three. Yes. Some of the soundtrack. The what? The, some of the soundtrack. The soundtrack to this game um, has some of the best like music of any Sonic game. Ever. Yeah, I absolutely, absolutely. Love it. Have six levels. Let me think. It's, it says, it's, I think it says in the yeah, play. I think I think it does, but I think the stages are are particularly long. Remember, I did complete this in the um, free. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, should, you should know. We went to the same yeah. sixth floor in college, and I remember one afternoon we had a free. Uh, what is it called? Like a free, a, yeah, we just called it a free. free yeah, free yeah. period, and um, yeah, I played. I, I played Kirby's Adventure <laughs> on on like a NES emulator, <laughs> and he played Sonic Three, and then we had a competition to see who could get the first yeah, in yeah. those games. I remember being like ten minutes late for the next class, and I had to be the last boss. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So Sonic Three, and as you can see, that is in. That's what I've been holding out for a real yeah. one's in really good condition. It wasn't an awful price actually, either, no, was it? I, th I think they wanted. Um, did they want? They wanted twenty for it, and I mm. 15. fifteen. Which in the condition it's in, I think I think that's fairly yeah. good. Yeah, I think it's fairly good. And then the other one that I was actually wanting to look for, and then we got it like a special one. Yeah. Oh, which by the way, actually, we we opened this up on the way back to okay. see if we could to see if we could play something in it. Um, and we thought for a second, we were like, oh, we have been, been done. We've we been have done. been scammed here, but, but we weren't. Yeah, yeah. We, 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 we weren't, yeah. yeah. Uh, unlike the normal shop. Yeah. Um, and that is Dark Souls to PS3. This is the limited edition, which comes with um, obviously the game, behind the scenes DVD, original soundtrack, artwork, and digital game guide. But I do know it was mainly the CD, mainly the CD that I think kind of sold it to you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and the price they w w wanted for it was, because I'm kind of thinking, if you, I think I, th I think I think if you buy this Dark Souls alone for for the PS3 now, I think it's about fifteen pounds. Yeah, that, that, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah so hey, I got it for twenty. That's what we're going for. Yeah, it's not in there. <laughs> Can you imagine that? <laughs> we, actually, we, we hadn't looked. No, we hadn't looked. No, <laughs> we hadn't looked. No. Yeah. The moral of the story from from yesterday was look. <laughs> yeah, look. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so the CD in the uh, and the movie. Yeah, because we just, just saw the album. Look. Where yeah, it? It, but it happens to be actually, I guess, quite cleverly for the uh, packaging. They're in like little sleeves inside the uh, inside the book. So that's the soundtrack, and then the uh, behind the scenes DVD would be great. Yeah. Just see me, uh, just to watch me as actually being there, being lazy, <laughs> and not getting any, any <laughs> not work done. He wasn't even there. <laughs> He's not actually hired by From Software. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. So I have. I'll do okay. one more, then you can do. Yeah, one more. I'll do my two, and then and then we can finish on uh, on our one of yours. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh. All kind of really good things actually left. Okay, I know what I should do. Let's do them together because I think both of yours are kind of like an equally kind of uniqueness. So right. actually, I'll do I'll, I'll do my two first, and then and then we can do both of yours together. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. So as I said, there, there was a common theme between the rest of mine. So another Final Fantasy game, which is uh, Tactics: War of the Lion, the War of the Lions. What, one of the games that I was looking for actually, but not yeah. on PSP. Yeah, because I mean, this would. I mean, your, your Final Fantasy collection is. Big. It, it's not. It's, it's it's definitely not complete, no. but it but it's definitely kind of reaching a point where you kind of get in there. And I think this would be. It's just another one that kind of you, you have to fill the gap with. Um, I didn't actually have this one. No. no. Um, but this is one that when I saw it with the res, I thought I'm just I'm just gonna get it. I mean, it's fun of You know, it's, it's another fun fantasy. Yeah. And also, I do know that the, this is kind of not 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 highly coded, but it's. Very, very, very well uh, reviewed. Basically, stuff. Final Fantasy meets Fire Emblem. Yeah. Also, a weird art card, which I haven't really figured out yet. It literally is just a card. That's it. Yeah. But yeah. It has like. But I'm, lo but I'm looking forward to playing uh, Final Fantasy Fire Emblem. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And then, and last, then. then last but not least, um, my favorite game of all time. Of all time. Which broke because it is a PSP game, and because P because PSP games just break, you literally have to look at them the wrong way, yeah. and, and they will shatter into a thousand pieces. Or oh, special on the table like you did. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I know that my <laughs> that my previous copy of Crisis Core had clear Crisis tape. Crisis Core, yeah. Bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> got him. I got myself. You played yourself. Yeah, so my previous copy <laughs> of this game, Crisis Core, um, was held together with clear tape. 
<laughs> and it was, and it, it had become so fat because there was, there was extra tape holding it in that literally, this is PSP, uh, the PSP uh, 1000, obviously, the, the, uh, the spring loaded loader. Oh, God, yeah, that was ass. So as it, I literally had to ram it in. <laughs> and there was a point where I couldn't take it out. So all I could play was Crisis Core. Maybe that's why I like it so much. Because it was the only game I could play. But no, seriously, um,. It is one of my favourite games. The battle system, kind of a hybrid between a standard RPG and kind of an action RPG. Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy. The story, the cutscenes. Jesus, are the, the cutscenes just give me a spooky. Um, <laughs> it is just incredible. Yeah, and obviously the side missions in this game go on for a long time, but not in a bad way. There's just so much, there's so much content. Don't know how they made it into a PSP game. No, that, they, that's kind of crazy. If that. they made it in, into a PS4 game, um, You'll have to be. I'd buy 10 copies. Yeah. So yeah, so that's what I got. Um, and I'll send this to Aiden. If there was literally an event where all they sold was Crisis Core, I would still <laughs> pay the entry fee to go in. That is how much I love that I game. I just think Dragon Ball is fair. Yeah. Um, right, so I have... Yeah, so I think we should, we, should, we should do these together. I don't think we should... Uh, yeah, I don't think... Oh, there's three! Okay, so, yeah, so we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll do... We'll just, we'll just do this one separately. So, um, someone stole was mainly imports. Yeah, this yeah this dude was really really unique actually. I think well no, we didn't talk to everybody, but yeah, this dude was unique. Cause I think everything he had was stuff that he bought for himself. Yeah, he wasn't traveling backwards and forwards from Japan. He wasn't a trader. He was more of someone that's his own like had personal collection. And I'm guessing he just had excess, you know, stuff that he just couldn't keep anymore. Mm. Um, so yeah, a really, a really nice guy. No, if and watch, if, I was just gonna say if you watch this channel uh, often, you'll know that I like my um, video game soundtrack. Especially by a certain composer, isn't yeah, it? Yes, Nobu. 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 That's what he. That's what he tells the ladies. <laughs> What's your name? Nobu. <laughs> Nobu, you might see what I'm yeah, yeah. So, by the mighty composer, and then um, for the, <laughs> this game, Lost Odyssey. Yeah. So, the original soundtrack. I mean, we should say this guy had. I mean, this obviously, is, this probably wasn't even his soundtrack collection. No. This was probably his excess. His excess was mental. It, it was. It was. If Aiden, if Aiden had won the lottery, I think you would have literally bought all of his soundtracks. Yes, I think I think one of them. Yeah, there's that in the car mix. I've got an Akami remix soundtrack, but I don't have the official thing. Yeah, which I really would like to get. But and actually, and we, and we should say actually that the soundtrack to this game is as good as any Final Fantasy. Oh, yeah. It is. It, it's excellent. Also, it's got Sheena Easton. If anyone knows, <laughs> yeah, Sheena Easton. Still need to, still need to listen to that. She, but. yeah, she actually did some tracks. Yeah, I was gonna say it as well. Just um on uh, something else that happened earlier in the day. So when we were at Tutti's um, stall, stall um, someone came up to us. Oh uh, yeah, um, some guy from Aberdeen. Aberdeen. So he definitely wasn't from Aberdeen. <laughs> <laughs> just, we just wanted to say um, yes, uh, thank yeah. you very much for coming yeah. up to us. Um, yeah. It's still, it's still, it's, it's oh, God, it's, 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 it, it's it, 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 it never seems real. No, no, yeah, like kind of, we're, we're at the moment we're kind of, like, I was obviously like, we're really, very really thankful and like, you know, for just, just to come up saying it. It does mean a lot, but at the time, you just kind of like, is this actually happening again? Yeah. I say, because I mean, I mean when, when we're doing this stuff, it, it never really feels like we're talking to anybody behind no, the it's camera. Just, it's just two mates. Just like, it, 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 it literally just feels like I'm just talking <laughs> for talking's sake. And the fact that somebody out there is actually listening is yeah. just, it's just really, really hard. Listening to our video game bullshit, you know, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's what I classify it as. <laughs> yeah. But no, um, thank you very, very much. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 truly as well, yeah. So, thank you. Okay, so, now, on to the last two things. Mm, one of them I've not checked what's in it yet, so I know we should do that. Um, yeah, and there's, and there's a reason why, because the cartridges, sorry, the other uh, boxes, if, if you breathe on them wrong, this was a really, really, really good price. So, a Game Boy Advance game that I've wanted for a long, long time. And why is that? <laughs> right, so, well, I'll tell you, I'll get another story. Yeah. Another story. Yeah. Uh, long and short of it is my friend used to have this game, mm. uh, one of my best mates at school, and he lent it to me. And when he lent it to me, someone else who was a friend, or I thought they were, yeah. came over to my house and he stole it. Yeah. And I knew he'd stole it, and he refused to uh, do it. So I always said that I'd get it back, but I've got it back today, and not, not even got it back today, <laughs> but I've got it back. You could give it a fuck. <laughs> um, and yeah. that is Golden Sun for the Game Boy Advance. Yeah. And this was a really, really good price, actually, because, yeah. He wanted 32 for it. Yeah. 32, and he accepted 25. He did. To be fair, I think this stall, I think if we'd seen this stall first, we, we would have spent more money oh, at, at this stall. He had like Final Fantasy Legend or something on Game Boy. On Game Boy. And I, I, know, I know he was selling Tales of Vesperia for 24, which is, is about a tenner under its poly. Yeah, he was selling value. Christ Court. Gonna edit to when I get this out. We're, we're in. We're having a look. Yep. Right. We have. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I've got yeah, the size of the manuals. Manual is in good condition. Tis. 
probably full of 18,000 different languages, if you want to know Golden Sun in Swahili, <laughs> it is probably in there. <laughs> <laughs> that was close. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> and then let's look for the uh, cartridge. There it is. Cartridge is in there. So yeah, so, yeah, so that was uh, another impulse buy, but a game that I like kind of always kind of have on, on a mental list to get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think I think that I think that's that, a great boy, and also just I mean, just as a game is actually a ridiculous game. So I'm sure on Aiden's next Aiden's list next time is going to be a Game Boy Advance player. Yes, that should probably be yes. on the list. We yeah. did see them, but like seventy five, I think we saw them. For. Yeah, and by that point, like I, I <laughs> you just spent all your money. <laughs> I, I, yeah, well, I only, I only still owe you money. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Now there was one, yeah. my one, one more game, one more game, and I can't even play it. It's one of the consoles I don't have, which is a Sega CD. Yeah. But the game is by one of my favorite game companies of all time, Working Designs. And if you see any of their stuff, like the quality of it is like so high. Now, what I saw though is this game. If I ever wanted it, I have to import it. So you're already talking like stupid amounts of money. Just yeah, it's, well, it's twenty quid important cost probably. And then it's a Working Design game, and then it's a Sega CD. Yeah, you, you get yeah, every, all, all, almost everything's wrong. Yeah, almost <laughs> everything's wrong in yeah. terms of for my wallet. Yeah, yeah. So we see this Luna, the Silver Star. Yes. Now, I mean, b before we even get into how much and kind of what it is, can I just say that American boxes for most games are just so good. Yeah, so much better. Yeah. So much better. I mean, look at. I mean, look at this thing. Look like the quality. I mean, look look at the chunk. Yeah, like, chunk, <laughs> chunk. That is an absolute <laughs> chunk of a game. Do you think Bruno Mars sing about chunky? Sing about this, mate. Hell yeah. You could. I think. I think you could bludgeon someone to death <laughs> with that case. <laughs> But um, yeah, I mean, I do think we should. Oh, it came with the little foam block. Yeah, as well. yeah, yeah. Even the, even the foam blocks in there. Even yeah. the foam blocks in there. Oh, have we got your favourite thing? Have, have we got the thing in the back of the I'm manual? Not, I've not even looked. Ooh. I've not even looked. But let's I, have. I do. Maybe not. But yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, um, so, so I guess before so, you before we say uh, how much you paid I and mean, how much how much, averagely do do should you know, kind of, like do so they go for? So, I have known poor condition ones go for like. 65, 70, and then you think that's they then have to import it. Yeah. Now, good condition ones, 130. Yeah. What? And I would say, what, this is probably a 7? A 7. Yeah, seven, seven. Seven. It's only the manual, everything else is, is mint. And yeah. when I enter the manual, it's literally just got one little thing here. So, what? A, a, a 7 to an 8. Yeah. I, I guess it all depends on the on the person buying it, you know, on okay. kind of what they think. Yeah, sorry guys, the camera just cut out. So, I think I was like just about doing this. And so there we, <laughs> there we are. Yeah. So uh, manual. Come on. Yes. We're saying because we we actually did the rest of the video. Yeah. 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 Uh, but, but, I mean, the, to be fair, this is still the end. So yeah, it's, yeah. it's hard to know exactly where yeah. we were. Um, and then the the disc. I mean, uh, even the printing on the disc is like ridiculous. Oh god. Yeah. Working working design is just the quality of it. <laughs> That's why they went out yeah, of business. It is. It is. <laughs> Genuinely. That is the reason why they went out of business. It is. Yeah. But, yeah, so that was definitely um, a highlight for me, just like Dragon Ball Monsters 2 was. was last year, yeah. So, yeah, guys, that was all the stuff that uh, we spent money on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Quite a lot of stuff. It, it's, it's a reasonable amount, isn't it? It's a reasonable amount. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, say I was looking for 15, 15 games and I still spent more than what I wanted and I only found four of them. <laughs> and you bought some books and, it's, and, it, and, it, and the soundtrack. You know what? Oh. That's what impulse buying is. Yes. It's a mess. I, I, I did say that my impulse buying is bad. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I don't help. So guys, <laughs> on that note, thank you for watching. Uh, we hope anyone who watched, uh, who was there yesterday, great, it was yesterday. Um, <laughs> yes, it was. Um, you know, we hope you had a great time. You know, found, yes. what, found what you're looking for. Um, you know, we still haven't found what we're looking for. Um, <laughs> and as <laughs> Just thought I'd have sung it. So guys, thank you for watching. Um, <laughs> yeah, see you in a bit.